So we know this is we know this is a really tough business. School these artists on why they got to be out there learning every step of the way. They think it's all about having a banging beat and they get out there and they're going to hit a home run. Tell them behind the scenes, man, how long you've been grinding and what a student of the game you got to be to succeed. You know what? Normally I would laugh at that question because it seems so like the question everybody just asked, like the common question. That's just serious. Like, you better be a student of this shit. I mean, to be a doctor, you know, you got to go to school for years and years. You got to go to medical school, undergrad school, medical school. It's 10 years. $300,000 worth of debt to finally become a doctor and still pass all kind of tests. In the music industry, you can make millions of dollars a year. Believe you probably going to have to study five times as hard. And honestly, it's been seven years for me now. And I just learned about the music aspect. Like, I took a lot of the business, Jazzy, different people, Guido schooled me about the business, but I was behind on learning about music. So not only is the music business important, but also the business of making music. And take it serious. It's something that people should probably really, really study. Like, I know people say that in theory all the time, but really you probably study, you need to study ridiculously hard. So. Lately, I've just been putting myself through crash courses of music, funk, just different things to understand what's the common denominator of success in hip hop, straight up. Mm -hmm. and, and why is it so important to keep this West Coast hip hop alive? I mean, you're coming out of the legacy of N.W.A. and Snoop and Dre and Tupac and so many great artists. How important is that to you to keep that alive and be a part of bringing it back? Um, me and my boy Salas, we always joke and say like I'm the last gangster rapper. And um, today I was on my way here and I thought about how true that was. Like, even though a lot of the dudes today rap about gangs and shit, they not, they not from that cut. They kind of young. They didn't really have to experience that street life. So I think it's detrimental because it still guides people out of it. You know, Easy and them started like, people just look at N.W.A. as a gangster rap group, but they was pretty educational. Like, the dope man song with Easy at the end talking about how somebody came and killed him because he sold somebody's sister bad dope. So. I mean, it definitely needs to get back to that type of stuff that Scarface was doing, and they got to stay around, so somebody got to do it. I might as well do it. Ain't shit else to do. Fuck it.